I just checked out of the Hilton Home 2 Suites and I think I am going to go to the Truman House. I mean, um, I have a little thing for presidential homes, like, you know, going to the Andrew Jackson's Hermitage and um, Jefferson's Monticello, so why not? center here and um, have my car parked over there and I'm gonna walk it's about a quarter mile to the Truman house and it's off of Delaware so hello car had this car for 10 years now I'm gonna miss it when we go back to New Zealand where I since I'm alone little cinema random little things there's the Indi independence uptown market I think we came here for Santa Caligon one year I think that's the back of the Truman house and that's probably the backyard patio area where Harry Bess and Margaret Truman ate dinner. Yeah, I didn't really watch the video because I just didn't have enough time, but I've read a lot about the Trumans and read the book by J.B. West, the chief usher during the time Tr Truman was president. Yeah, that's Harry Truman's house. Yeah, so we got a couple presidential homes checked off the list. Um, Jefferson's Monticello, Jackson's Hermitage, and Truman's house. And then we kind of also went to the house Clinton, the Clintons got married. Right, so this will be fun. used to live and he would visit his cousins there and look through the window at Bess's house where the Trumans eventually lived later. So, so um, I did a tour of the Truman house and it was really cool. Um, got to see some original artifacts and um, random things in the home. Um, he had gifts from Queen of the Netherlands, he has family stuff, um, so that's where he lived. And right across the street from here is that house, um, 224. 
that house right there is where the Secret Service eventually set up shop. Now it's an Airbnb. So I'm walking down the street on the side of the Truman House is um, another property. So walking down the side of the Truman House is their garage. They kind of didn't really care and let stuff get overgrown because uh, they needed some privacy after he left the office as president. So this greenhouse right here um, was Bess's, it was in Bess's family. I think it used to be a much nicer neighborhood than it is now, but um, it is what it is. A block block away from the Truman House is First Baptist Church of Independence, Missouri. Little building here built in 1925. And then the Truman Memorial Building. <clears throat> Alright, so Truman's house was really cool. It was classic 60s, 8 to 8 through 80s type house. Um, you know, his wife, Bess Truman, died and had a calendar on the wall from 1982 and the housekeeper marked the dates off like a week after she died and she died in the downstairs bedroom so they have one downstairs bedroom and one bath downstairs with five bedrooms and one bath upstairs and yeah really cool house definitely not as grand as say um hermitage or Monticello, but still a very cool house regardless, just because it has such a huge piece of history. Um, so that house was built by Bess Truman's grandfather and her mom kind of owned the house until she died in the White House and it was kind of passed down as soon as they left. But So here is the historic Independence Square and that is the statue of Harry Truman wearing a uh, Independence, Independence Kansas City t-shirt. That's interesting. Anyway, I am out of here in, I don't know, maybe getting something to eat. Sure, In 300 the feet, turn right onto North Liberty Street. Take the next right onto North Liberty Street, then turn left onto West Truman Road. Alright, I'm gonna go back.